question that looks a bit like this one. So we've got a set of uh, results, two columns of data, and some questions. We need to sort the data of these quiz results for class A, 7A. You need to calculate a five-point summary for class 7A, draw a box plus plot uh, for class 7A, and then add a box plus plot, box plot for class 7B. Okay, so we're going to go through, through each of those steps. So firstly, you want to um, put the data into the uh, into your calculator. So you open up a new document, and it's going to be a list and spreadsheet. And you're going to enter um, a heading. So I'm going to call this class 7A. No spaces, okay? Otherwise, you'll run into problems. And I'll just enter the numbers. Okay, so the numbers are entered, um, and I might want to um, sort those numbers. So to order the data, I click on the heading and hit the up arrow, and that selects the whole uh, column. Then I go to menu, number one, actions, and number six, sort. And I say, okay, I want to sort them in ascending order, okay. And there we have uh, the set of data from smallest uh, to largest. Now, I want to generate some statistics, so I go to, uh, um, I don't have this hard, I don't think, I just go to menu, I go to number four, statistics, number one, stat calculations, oops, let me go back again. So I go to menu, I go to four, statistics, one, stat calculations, I get a whole lot of things, the only thing we're interested in in year nine is number one, one variable statistics. So I pick that. Number of lists, I say OK, just one. And then my first column, A column, or I can pick actually from the choice, class 7A. So I'll do that. And we're going to put the results in column B, which is fine. And there they go. They dropped into B and then spilled over to C. And all my stats are here. So the important ones are this one, uh, X bar, which is the average. And if I scroll down, N which is the number of um, data points, eight, the size of my sample, and then my nice uh, five-point summary. I've got my minimum value, Q1, median, Q3, and maximum. So I've got all of those. Next thing is, uh, is to plot those. So you don't close anything. Go back to the home and select the bar chart, which is the um, fifth symbol across. That adds a new page with my what is effectively a, a scatter plot. I'm going to hover over the bottom and click on it, and that should give me a choice of what I'm going to call that um, 7A. And that arranges into a dot plot, which is like a modified version of a histogram or a bar chart with every point visible. Now, to do a box plot, this is cool, I go to menu, number one, plot type. And number two, box plot. And it redraws it as a box plot. You can hover over the values. So this is the highest, uh, Q3, 7.5. They may vary from your um, table of values, and it's better to trust the table of values. Sometimes the, um, the box plot rounds them off. Now, I'd like to, so that's, we've done, um, we've sorted them, calculated the summary, we've drawn a box plot. Last point, 7B, uh, added box plot for 7B. And so to do that, we go back to our table, pick the next available column, and I'm going to call this class 7B. And again, oops, I'm going to enter all those values. So they're all entered. And I think I can just go to back to 1.2 on my box plot, go to menu, plot properties, add x uh, variable, which is number 5. Now this 7b is my second box plot. Now I can compare the two distributions. It's as simple as that.